We're the power behind Elder Day. Meals on Wheels. And Lift Line. Most people know our programs, but fewer know us. We're Community Bridges. Families helping families. Community Bridges. Families helping families. It changes people's lives. Whatever we can do. People here are really dedicated. Hi, I'm Christina, and I'm here to tell you about the nine different programs Community Bridges sponsors. Now sit back and enjoy the video. The first program is, is a child and adult care food program. We helped over 2,500 parents get away each day knowing their children had excellent nutrition. We have a lot of fun. <laughs> Uh, my co-workers, as well as I am, are, are really delighted with them. And so we, we love to have them um, eat well, of course, uh, as well as have a good um, cooperative play with their mates and, and socially that they are strong because it gives them a good self-esteem. My children are my joy, and, and so I would like them to develop properly. Uh, not only in, in their whole physical, but emotional, as well as their um, fun, loving, and uh, only fun, fun in life. Not everyone can get around so easy. That's where Lift Line comes in. I've never been so grateful for anything. <laughs> it makes my life easier and more so dark. What I'm very much impressed with, with with the staff here at Liftline is that how much, how many people here are really dedicated into serving the community, into serving the, the, the clients, and really wanting to provide uh, the best possible service that we can for them. Serving others is, is part of, I guess, my own greater calling, and um, Thinking of myself or only myself is a very small place to be in. Since uh, I have found out about this time, it just opened up my life. Our Meals on Wheels program. Every day we give food to over 900 people. We can do more than that if we have the help we need, but isn't 900 pretty good? At the Live Oak Family Center, one thing we do there is get children together and play. And we also parents together so they can talk and become better parents. In our culture, parenting is taken for granted and it's considered something that people just know how to do and that they're supposed to know how to do. It's just great to have a resource in the community, a place where we can come and be with other kids and other parents and play with bubbles and paints. I just think that it's a great place for parents to get together and, and network and feel supported and spend time with their kids and their kids get to play with each other. And it's just a really great thing that the community offers. What we provide for parents is that kind of education and support that is so trivialized in our culture and we hold really dear and important. He loves the story hour circle at the end and singing songs. Yeah. Mama and Zana helps people that are new to this country that may not be able to speak our language. It's tough being the new kid in town. So I saw, you know, growing up what it was like 
to come to the United States not knowing the language, struggling with trying to adapt to a new culture, and the barriers that people face linguistically, culturally, when they come to a new, new country. And um, I guess I felt like I wanted to try and help people um, overcome those barriers and be able to be uh, more successful here in the States. Everything from uh, direct client services, helping them uh, overcome language barriers, cultural barriers, um, to be able to uh, function more effectively in this society. It's sort of a one-stop shopping uh, environment for people where they can come here and um, very likely get whatever needs they have met in a single location. The Child Development Division helps kids be ready for kindergarten. School is cool. <laughs> We help children learn, we help children develop into um, capable young children ready for school. Um, so they develop good social skills, they know how to interact with each other. Um, they learn positive conflict resolution, which is a biggie, I think. They learn hygiene, they brush their teeth hair every day, um, eat really good food, and uh, they learn to sing and to dance and to climb and to just so much. Giving them good beginnings, that's what a good child development program should do, is give children an excellent start in life, and that's what we do here at Community Bridges. Elder Day keeps older folks in the game, knowing they live independent lives. The staff here love them, and they're with them, and and they don't even know that they're having physical therapy or nursing services or um, medications management. That's all behind the scenes. They're here having a good time. Just like you saw in the dancing and singing, they're having fun. They don't even know this is exercise. They don't even know it. It's just so much fun. And for me, the whole, to watch that happen every day, for 20 years and I still keep coming back and I love being here and I've got a tear in my eye. Unborn children are so important. That's why their mommies need lots of education. And then when they're born, they need a whole nother education. And that's the WIC program. What's so key and what's so great about WIC is that we help moms make informed decisions about their child's diet. We help them learn uh, what it is that's important for their children. Here at the Community Bridges WIC program, we strongly support breastfeeding because it is so beneficial to the baby and to the mother, and it provides a real special bond between the mother and the baby. WIC really works. All of our programs, just like WIC, flourish under the careful wing of Community Bridges strategic planning and its leadership. We're the power behind these nine programs, but you, the contributors, are the power behind us. And what you give really makes the difference right here at home. The Watson Vale Law Center provides legal service for people that may not be able to afford it. And I had no attorney to represent me. I'm on welfare and, and food stamps at that time. And I stood the chance of losing until I met with the Watsonville Law Center. The minute I started talking to her, I knew I didn't have to worry anymore. The Watsonville Law Center is a project that came out of a uh, noting that there was a huge need, a large gap, and a huge need for legal services in this area in a large community that um, couldn't access legal services or justice because they couldn't afford it. This center um, has been a great service and it helps specifically um, the Hispanic community who needs, um, who has a, due to low levels of education, uh, needs assistance and legal advocacy. Yeah, they're afraid to exercise their rights um, and they're afraid of the consequences of exercising their rights, which especially for people who um, work out in the fields and don't have legal status here, but do put vegetables and fruit on our table. Now I'm going to turn you over to Sam and I'll tell you the way you can help Community Bridges. Now here's Sam. Bye-bye. 
Thank you, Christina. Hi, I'm Sam Story. I'm the director of Community Bridges. I'm here to ask for your financial support. Help us continue these vital services in Santa Cruz County. Help us to deliver meals to homebound seniors, to provide daycare for seniors and for young children, to provide assistance to families in times of distress. We need your financial support in order to continue to deliver these important services. Make an investment in your community. Thank you for watching this video and thank you for your support.